So this is a guillotine that was dropped off here by a friend who likes to destroy stuff. Yeah, he's working on some something. And he wants us to put a new blade on it. You see, this one is a little kind of gross looking. It's got a lot of flat spots on it. So we're gonna make a new one so we can cut through bigger things than just a two by four like arms or legs or something. So to fix that, we've got a plate of 3 8 stainless that we're gonna cut a entire new blade out of. There it is, we have a brand new 304 stainless, 3 8 inch blade with a 45 degree cutting bevel. The goals are better looking, check. Better edge retention, it should stand up better than mild steel, right? This is heat treated stainless. Heat number 520617. Whatever that means. We're gonna do another two by four and see if the cut looks cleaner than the two by four that just gets smashed in half. I think it's the other one did not launch it like that. I think the I think this is cleaner. Did it just like explode? Uh, yeah, it just exploded into a million pieces, but it doesn't look like it's smashed. Let's lift it up and see what the edge looks like. I see a little scuff on it, but the edge itself though looks really, really clean. Well, that took all day and uh, I'm hungry. It's lunchtime, you wanna go get something? I actually packed a lunch. But my wife forgot to cut the crust off, so. Just like how you like it? Just like my mom used to make. Now that we've had some sandwiches, it's time for a refreshing watermelon. Did we pick a good one? Mediocre. Next up is this can of Barbasol. Uh, I'm not convinced it's actually shaving cream. There might be some dino DNA in it, so. Wait, what does that even mean? Only way we can know for sure is uh, cutting it in half. <laughs> so uh, the bottom of the can is just gone. It's, nope, it's not in there. I mean, there's no way it could have gone. Nope. No, that's a different can. Top did end up right there. And that's a, that's a pretty good cut. Bottom might be on the roof. Next up is something we have wanted to do on the water jet, but haven't really dared. So I guess this is the first step to being able to do it on the water jet maybe. Depending on how messy this turns out, we might do it in the water jet. That's what I'm trying to say. We've got everything masked off. We're gonna stick two cans of spray paint under there. We're oiling up the blade and everything so the paint doesn't really stick to it. We're hoping that works. It's Friday, September 4th, 2020. If I don't make it out, tell my family this was Dan's idea.
oil worked for the most part. We've still got a little bit of paint, but we've got some acetone to take that off. Uh, overall, was that messier than you were expecting or not as bad? I mean, I was a little worried that it would have a bigger blast radius. Might get the trailer and the snowcat. Paint on the snowcat. Down the side there. Huh. <laughs> yep, that's kind of what I was worried about. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, Dan, do you remember that odd shape that we used to cut into things? Yeah. Well, I cut that shape into some steel, and I thought people might want to buy it. So if you or somebody you know is interested in purchasing odd-shaped metal objects, there's a link down in the description now where you can do that. The more you buy, the cheaper they are. But what would one do with an odd-shaped metal object? I don't know. It's probably a bad idea. I'll just throw it away. Only available for a limited time and while supplies last, so hurry and get yours now. I'm already there. I'm getting it on my phone. Hurry! There's about six of them. Thank you.